nose is too small. Hey, <laughs> the sword's too big. Oh, by the way, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern? <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silken lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly! Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects. Examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. <laughs> oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. <laughs> he did a can half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue. Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf? Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help.
I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you aiming for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself, or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And... No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. <laughs> Horvier, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh. 
Ooh, look at this one. Move on. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Sorry, can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... Yeah! This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecturers? You shouldn't listen to everything people say about... Means they go to sleep early. Oh! So that's why Mum went to tuck that witcher in. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? A man cursed who's turned into a monster a witcher might have to kill, even if he's a king. So King Fortest was a monster. What's it like to cut off someone's head? Can you show us how to cut off a head? Can we try your potions? Enough! That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. Shoo there! Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came! Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. I found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelion's? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Jeho crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. 
Thanks for your help. Farewell. be coming home for more. Whoa, a fighter! Must be coming home for more. Whoa, a fighter! This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. 
I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I fear your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luisa's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Latar, known until recently simply as Molly. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Think I can find my own way to the Vagelbud home. Very well. Perhaps I can convince you to join me later at the races. I shall keep an eye out for you. Rosavar Atra is expecting me, supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? I hope so too. Miss Rosa's got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips us. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll earn the ambassador's honor. Oh. Follow me. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Uh, 
what's so exciting about it. Living on the edge, tracking then facing down beasts, sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a Zugu while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Granted! Oh, you're quick! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Oh. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Varatra. The greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher.
Creek.
Not so fast, Roach. Slow now. Whoa. I see you managed to find the place. Not that hard. It's not exactly a small concealed hovel. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey is a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retainer, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Hmm. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. Chestnut looks promising. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. Ah, look. Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I shall be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the Black Stallion and the Grey Mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? I 
That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from a hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... Oh, what's it? Congregations. Awful time in all this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the Lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship? Of course not. Sweetiekins couldn't be happier that Dandelion's raising me sophistication. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... These packages? Any chance they were trunks, travel cases? And this girl? Possibly a Trubaritz? Yes, yes. Now I remember. She's a travelling performer. Sailed in from Kavir. Talented family, innit? Exceptionally. And very loving as well, I'm sure. If you only knew. Dandelion even wrote a poem for her. To my dearest Kalanetta. Or some such. Oh, to have a brother like that. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Your hair, ladies. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? say goodbye. I'll get back on my own somehow. As you will. In any case, I thank you for a pleasant afternoon. No, thank you. Till next time.
the drift of him from Tameria. Sick. Sick of it all. You're back! You met Poppy? You ought to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwentworth in no time. But we want to talk about dandelion. So, How'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this was? Blonde, from Kovir. A troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troveritz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks of Dandelion with a pair of tits, and you get the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Oh yes, Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right, guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop, Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Free 
boy. What do I gotta do? You get a lot of this. What village are you from? Willows. It's into my area two days road from the Zima. already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
know him! Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard! Silence, woman! We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again! And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permits me to introduce uh, Alessia's Priscilla, known also as Calanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his way to pass the floor at once. He made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? He claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone? Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention as he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair, Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr.? And ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver of Arrest, and the King of Beggars. That rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We in deep then. I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Rubin. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Rubin runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've been bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Bobby to feed. And I suppose I'll wait. See if our warm will go to the home in the 
First, I thought I'm a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Ruben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Sigiruvan cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest.
Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven, whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever found it with my prick hanging out. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. me to your friends. Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first! Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. 
So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got now to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. If 
from master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. Are you serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Not again. Bart. Bart, stop that. Now. Bart, man. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinking. Bart, less thinking. 
but sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. What's that? Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up. And I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart jumped that god. It's a tall order, Dijkstra. Need to think it over. Fine. Just remember. What you saw here. Mum's the word. That's very important. I might even say it's a matter of life and death. Understood. Understood. Excellent.
looks like rain. even more dreary. Who wrote this, Mark? The walls who fought snow white in the box are mature. Get along with him! I'd expect you to go up my ass before I'd expect to find Horson hiding in his house. Cleaver, shite! Cleaver wants the bubble searching, so I'm searching. Nothing interesting here. Find any work here, watcha? Greetings. Ugh. You're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. You in charge here? What's it to you? Looking for Junior. <laughs> Welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. You're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Junior to a get-together with his mates. Became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient right of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look around. I've got my eye on you. Dwarves who pot snow white cherry. Fuck sure, blame that on us too. were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Nothing interesting here. Place has been scrubbed clean. Mine's like war. I never know when they're done for. Nice 
nice resource you've got there. Go oh, roast these man. There's a few walls, pots, I truly wonder what will happen if the gutter's clogged. Witches of conjured rain. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. I want my right chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Igor. I call him Hook. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. Down the corridor, then left. Get ready. Your turn now. Well, I'm ready. Oh, sorry. Uh, Great. Ooh, Just get yeah. anything. Yeah. Please Ooh. just get caught. Watch it. Remember our deal, Marty. Switch this all for a last one. Uh, uh, there's your call. Right. Sure. We'll play this day. Take it while I'm giving you. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I can be of use. Jr. can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep Elfie. That's my advice. Not your hireling. Won't take your orders. Don't need your advice. You're not my hireling, that's true. But so uppity. Afraid you need to die. Kill him.
time to end this. worn by a moving door, something behind this wall.
Deekstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Greetings, Master. Ooh. Come on. 